right to some of that breaking news. A Henry County mother says her son was sexually assaulted at school. Now she wants the school to punish the students involved. She says three boys pulled down her son's pants and exposed him to other classmates. Channel 2's Audrey Washington's live at Hampton Middle School, and Audrey, the mother, also filed a police report. Karen, she reached out to Channel 2 Action News because she believes the school district is not doing enough to punish the three boys. She says sexually assaulted her son. Now, she also tells me this all happened here inside of Hampton Middle School in front of an entire classroom. He's in seventh grade. He's 12, like in front of a group of kids. Like, that's his private part. Anytime Cabricia Osborne thinks about it, she breaks down. That's like you dehumanized him. Cabricia says on October 12th, three boys sexually assaulted her 12-year-old son here at Hampton Middle School. He said that his, his pants and his underwear were pulled down. Cabricia says she immediately spoke with school administrators. Next, she says she filed a police report. Still, she tells me the three boys she says were involved remain at the school while her son learns from home. I mean, if somebody has been sexually assaulted, they should not have to go to school and see the same kids who have sexually assaulted them. I reached out to Henry County Schools. A district representative wrote, quote, we are aware of an incident between students that is currently being investigated by district staff. Cabricia sent me this notice she received from a district investigator about the complaint. It reads in part, quote, I am investigating a possible violation of the school board's JCAC sexual harassment policy. The purpose of this meeting will be to gather accurate information regarding the allegations contained in the complaint. Please note that the district is responsible for gathering evidence and each student is presumed innocent throughout this investigation. I don't feel like they would keep my son safe. If that happened to him, what else can happen to him? And the school district did not release the names of the other students involved because they are minors. As for this investigation, I'm told it is ongoing. We are live here in Henry County tonight. Audrey Washington, Channel 2 Action News.